Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about a type of auger used in microbiology labs and hospital labs that is called hectone enteric auger. It's named for the Hectone Institute where it was developed. Now, um, a HEC auger can be abbreviated in a few different ways. Some people will call it HEC auger, uh, H-E-K, H-E, H-E-A. So depending on where you're working, there might be different abbreviations. This auger is both selective and differential. I'll explain exactly what that means as we go through it, but basically selective means it allows some things to grow and not other things. And differential means that what does grow will grow with different colors or characteristics that allows you to differentiate between one type of organism and another growing on the heck plate. Now, specifically, this type of auger is used to recover two major enteric pathogens. And those are salmonella and shigella. So these will be recovered uh, from certain samples. Uh, people may be looking at like food samples or water samples. Think about uh, public health specialists, epidemiologists. They're trying to figure out if areas are contaminated by, uh, by enteric pathogens. Um, also like patient specimens could be tested. So like fecal samples from a patient who is suspected to have a salmonella or shigella infection. Uh, their fecal samples could be tested with HEC auger. Now, Salmonella and Shigella are both gram negative. Now, I have another video on gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria on their cell wall structures on what makes gram negative and gram positive bacteria different. So if you need to, please check that video out. Um, this heck auger contains a few different things. So it contains bile salts and dyes that inhibit that other gram type, the gram positive bacteria. So the bile salts and dyes, uh, these are present actually in a lot of different auger, anything that's trying to select for gram negative cells and inhibit gram positive cells will often include these things, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is where the selectivity comes in for this auger. It is selecting for gram negative bacteria and selecting against gram positive bacteria. Heck auger also contains three different sugars and some indicators to support fermentation. Remember that fermentation can be used by a variety of bacteria and can have different types of acid products that will change the pH of the medium when those acids are produced as those sugars are fermented, and that allows indicators to show like a, like a color change. So um, this will allow differentiation of enteric bacteria. Remember that enteric is referring here to those bacteria that are found in the intestines. Now, um, these bacteria, the ones that can support fermentation of these sugars will have a, a pH change or cause a pH change that results in a color change in those indicators. And that will cause sort of yellow or salmon colored colonies. So sometimes it's kind of yellow, um, yellowish orange, pinkish, that kind of salmon color. And that means positive for fermentation. Now, this is where I really want you to listen up. Because if a person has taken, you know, one of these types of samples and they placed it on heck auger and something has grown and they see salmon colored colonies that indicate fermentation of these sugars has happened, that is actually expected from like, a, like an intestinal sample because this actually allows, this is cool, I think, it allows differentiation between what we would consider uninteresting enterics, things like E. coli that's present in the guts of many people um, and often is not pathogenic. So it can differentiate between basically non-pathogenic enteric bacteria and Shigella and Salmonella because Shigella and Salmonella will not 
ferment these sugars and will not create these salmon colored colonies. Rather, I'll actually switch colors here. Rather, Shigella and Salmonella will appear green um, or in the case of um, Salmonella, potentially black. And I'll explain that in a second. So we'll appear um, green or kind of greenish black in one case and alkalize the auger, which will turn it blue. So remember alkalize means raise the pH, become more basic, and that will create uh, a blue color from one of those indicators. So this is where the differential comes in. You know, the uninteresting enterics that are non-pathogenic or that are not salmonella and not shigella, maybe this kind of salmon color, whereas shigella and salmonella will um, at least initially be green and cause that uh, auger to change to kind of a bluish color. So now let's talk about what else hectone auger contains, and that is sulfur sources and indicators for hydrogen sulfide production. Okay, so for hydrogen sulfide production, when hydrogen sulfide is produced, you can either get colonies that are entirely black or that still have this green color I was telling you about, but have black centers. So either entirely black colonies or black centers in those green colonies mean positive for hydrogen sulfide production. And so that is a way that Salmonella and Shigella can be differentiated between. Let's briefly talk about some downsides to hectone auger. First of all, it does not provide information on all enterics. So there can be um, bacteria in a person's gut that hectone auger won't tell you anything about. One notable one is Klebsiella, which is a pathogen. So if a person is infected with Klebsiella, hectone enteric auger is not going to um, allow a doctor to learn about that Klebsiella infection. It's really just when someone is looking for uh, Salmonella or Shigella that they're going to use this hectone enteric auger. Another downside of HEC auger is that it does require confirmation by other methods. So other biochemical methods, uh, serological tests, uh, PCR-based tests can all confirm what is suspected based on growth on HEC auger. In other words, HEC auger is not conclusive at the species level on its own. So somebody using HEC auger is not going to be able to differentiate between different species of Shigella, between different species of Salmonella, between different species of you know, these other enterics that cause the salmon colored colonies in order to get a more specific uh, confirmation, you really have to follow up the heck auger with one of these other tests. And so now let's just summarize the main observations. E. coli and other non-pathogens will generally be that sort of salmon or um, kind of orange, yellow, pink type color. Salmonella will have black centers in green colonies or outright just black colonies. Shigella tends to be slightly more green than Salmonella and it lacks any black coloration. So there's not going to be any black coloration for Shigella because it doesn't produce hydrogen sulfide. This is a list of other videos that I have on my channel. So other types of auger, if you're interested in other types of sort of selective or differential augers, you can check out my videos on McConkie auger, mannitol salt auger, EMB auger. I also have a, a lot of videos on different microbiology tests, things like the catalase test, oxidase test, DNA test that allow differentiation between different types of bacteria. 
Um, also, I have a lot of videos on different stains, the gram stain, the acid fast stain, the endospore stain, ones that aren't even listed here, the flagella stain, the endospore stain. So I have a bunch of videos that you might be interested in checking out if you want to learn more about how scientists and doctors detect and differentiate between different kinds of bacteria. Please remember to subscribe and check out more of my videos. Hit the little bell icon to get notifications. And thank you very much, as always, for watching Biology Professor. I have started taking pictures of my finished boards and putting them um, in links for you guys. So if you would like a link to the final board for note-taking purposes, then you can grab that picture um, along with PDFs to the rest of my board notes in the link in the description below. So thanks for watching Biology Professor. See you next time.